Hello, welcome back. We're about to launch into chapter four of the Count of Monte Cristo. Thanks for being here. We need a theme. A theme, like a theme song? Yeah. We'll get Barn to write one. Okay. Um, all right. No, that's, Burn, burner. that's already a real um, little theme. All right. Chapter four, conspiracy. You want to start us off? Sure. Chapter four, conspiracy. Donglar followed. Oh, ooh, all right, here we go. Donglar followed Edmund and Mercedes with his eyes until the two lovers disappeared behind one of the angles of Fort Saint Nicolas. Then, turning round, he perceived Fernand, who had fallen pale and trembling into his chair, while Caderousse stammered out the words of a drinking song. "Well, my dear sir," said Donglar to Fernand, "here is a marriage which does not appear to make everybody happy." It drives me to despair, said Fernand. Do you then love Mercedes? I adore her. For long? As long as I have known her. Always. <laughs> <laughs> so dramatic. Always. And you sit there tearing your hair instead of seeking to remedy your condition. I did not think that was the way of your people. What would you have me do, said Fernand. How do I know? Is it my affair? I am not in love with Mademoiselle Mercedes. But for you, in the words of the gospel, seek and you shall find. I think I lost it a little. All right. Sorry. I have found already. What? I would stab the man, but the woman told me that if any misfortune happened to her betrothed, she would kill herself. Pooh, women say those things, but never do them. What a jerk. You do not know Mercedes. What she threatens, she will do. Idiot, muttered Danglar. Whether she kill herself or not, what matter provided Dantes is not guilty? Cold. Mm -hmm. Before Mercedes should die, replied Fernand with the accents of unshaken resolution, I would die myself. So it would be like murder suicide suicide <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> that's what i call love said caderousse with a voice more tipsy than ever that's love or i don't know what love is come said danglar you appear to me a good sort of fellow and hang me i should like to help you but yes said caderousse but how uh, my dear fellow, replied Danglar, you are three parts drunk. Finish the bottle and you will be completely so. Drink, then, and do not meddle with what we are discussing, for that requires all one's wit and cool judgment. Uh, excuse me, I, I, I drunk, said Caderousse. Well, that's a good one. Ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I could drink four more such bottles. They are no bigger than cologne flasks. Pear Pamphile, more wine! And Caderousse rattled his glass upon the table. You were saying, um, you were saying, sir, said Fernand, awaiting with great anxiety the end of this interrupted remark. Uh, what was I saying? I forget. This drunken Caderousse has made me lose the thread of my sentence. Uh, drunk. Uh, oh, is this Caderousse again? Okay. Excuse me. Drunk, if you like, so much the worse for those who fear wine, for it is because they have bad thoughts, which they are afraid the liquor will extract from their hearts, Whoa. said Caderousse. Sa and Caderousse began to sing the last two lines of, of the two last lines of a song very popular at the time. Du la méchant, sans bouver d'eau, c'est bien prouvé par le déluge. <laughs> It was very popular at the time. Right. Do you uh, do you know what it's saying here? All the who are méchants. What's Michon's that? like I think it's like mean guys. All the mean people uh, are, are drinkers of water. Of water. It's the. It's well proven by the deluge. I don't know what I don't know what that means. Or they drink like water. Oh. All the mean guys drink it like water. Oh maybe? yeah, maybe. Okay. 
All the yeah, all the jerks think like yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna say sir. I'm gonna say that this is probably Fernand. It's not clear in the text, but I'm gonna say it's Fernand. Yeah, I think so. You said, sir, you would like to help me, but, uh, yes, but I added to help you. It would be sufficient that Dantes does not did not marry her. You love, uh, did not marry her. You love what? Did not marry her. That you love. Her you love. Dantes did not marry her. You love, and the marriage may easily be thwarted. Methinks, and yet. Dantes need not die. Death alone can separate them, remarked Fernand. You talk like a noodle, my friend, said Caderousse. <laughs> and here is Dan Glar, who is a wide awake, clever, deep fellow, who will prove to you that you are wrong. Prove it, Danglar. I have answered for you. Say, there is no need why Dantes should die. It would, indeed, be a pity he should. Dantes is a good fellow. I like Dantes. Dantes, your health. I assume he's raising a glass and maybe drinking from it. Mm -hmm. Fernand rose impatiently. Uh, let him run on, said Danglar, restraining the young man. Oh, wait, hold on, that's Danglar saying that. Fernand rose impatiently. Let him run on, said Danglar, restraining the young man. Drunk as he is, he is not much out in what he says. Absence severs as well as death, and if the walls of a prison were between Edmund and Mercedes, they would be as effectually separated as if he lay under a tombstone. Wow, so they're going to get him arrested. Okay. Yes, but one gets out of prison, said Caderousse, who, with what sense was left him, listened eagerly to the conversation. And when one gets out and one's name is Edmund Dantes, one seeks revenge. What matters that, muttered Fernand. And why, I should like to know, persisted Caderousse, should they put Dantes in prison? He is neither robbed, nor killed, nor murdered. Hold your tongue, said Danglar. I won't hold my tongue, replied Caderousse. I say I want to know why they should put Dantes in prison. I like Dantes. Dantes, your health. And he swallowed another glass of wine. I'm just going to comment here on these photos. We've got, um, that, this Caderousse. looks like Caderousse here. This looks like for, or is this Fernand? I think Fernand's on the right. I think you're right. I think Fernand's on the right. Caderousse has all of the bottles underneath him. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got uh, Don uh, Donglar in the shadow back here, mm -hmm. being like I think the prime conspirator. And then here we have some kind of um, spying going on here. Why don't you take over? Okay. Danglar saw in the muddled look of the tailor the progress of his intoxication, and turning towards Fernand, said, Well, you understand there is no need to kill him. Certainly not, if, as you said just now, you have the means of having Dantes arrested. Have you that means? It is to be found further searching. But why should I meddle in the matter? It is no affair of mine. I know not why you meddle, said Fernand, seizing his arm. But this I know. You have some motive of personal hatred against Dantes, for he whom he who himself hates is never mistaken in the sentiments of, uh, of others. I mot <laughs> Now I'm <laughs> British. Good lord. Um, uh, motives of hatred against Dantes, none on my world. I saw you were unhappy, and your unhappiness interested me. <laughs> yeah, a very interesting unhappiness you <laughs> yeah. have there. It would be a shame if someone uh, harnessed that. Yeah. That's all. But since you believe I act for my own account, adieu, my dear friend, get out of the affair as best you may. And Danglar rose as if he meant to depart. Oh, this is like haggling, or like yeah. he's trying to bait him. No, no, said Fernand, restraining him. Stay. It is of very little consequence to me at the end of the matter whether you have any angry feeling or not against Dantes. I hate him. I confess it openly. Do you find the means? I will execute it. Provided it is not to kill the man, for Mercedes has declared that she will kill herself if Dantes is killed. Really underlining that point. He wants to make it clear. Don't Which, which means kill something's going to F up and it's definitely... She's definitely going to kill herself later. Oh, maybe, yeah. For sure. Caderousse, who had let his head drop on the table, now raised it, and looking at Fernand with his dull and fishy eyes, he said, Kill Dantes? Who talks of killing Dantes? I won't have him killed. I won't. 
He's my friend, and this morning offered to share his money with me as I shared mine with him. I won't have Dantes killed. I won't. Okay, Cataroos is definitely the weakest part of this conspiracy. I think if any part of them folds, it's going to be him. It's definitely Cataroos. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Uh, and you have said the world about killing him, muddlehead, replied Donglar. We were merely joking. Drink to his health, he added, filling Cataroos' glass. And do not interfere with us. Yes, yes, Dantes is good health, said Caderousse, emptying his glass. <laughs> For sure, Owen Wilson now. Here's to his health. His health. Hurrah. Uh, okay. But the means! The means! Said for... Oh, sorry, that's that's Dungler. Um, The voice is... We're, this is Fernand speaking. But the means! The means! Said Fernand. Have you not hit upon any? Asked Danglar. No, you undertook to do so. True, replied Danglar. The French have the superiority over the Spaniards that the Spaniards ruminate while the French invent. So I think he is Spanish. I think Fernand is definitely supposed to be Spanish. But we are committed. We're committed. We're committed. We're committed. Okay. Uh, do you invent then, said Fernand, Fernand impatiently. Waiter, said Danglar. Pen, ink, and paper. Pen, ink. And paper, muttered Fernand. Yes, I am a supercargo. Pen, ink, and paper are my tools. And without my tools, I am fit for nothing. Pen, ink, and paper, then, called Fernand loudly. Uh, here's the waiter. Who's the waiter? What? This is a one-time character. <laughs> There's what you want on that table, said the waiter. <laughs> um, Brings them here. The waiter did as he was desired. When one thinks, said Caderousse, letting his hand drop on the paper. Well, hold on, I'm going to pause here for a sec. What do we have here? I think we're these images, these pictures are way Maybe ahead of where we are in the come. story. Yeah, this has not yet happened. It looks I don't like think Dantes this has happened yet either. No. Um, and yeah, this is either Dantes or Fernand, because I think Fernand has the hat. You're right. Okay. Uh, when one thinks, said Caderousse, letting his hand drop on the paper, there is, not, there is here wherewithal to kill a man more sure than if we waited at the corner of a wood to assassinate him. I've always had more dread of a pen, a bottle of ink, and a sheet of paper than of a sword or pistol. The fellow is not so drunk as he appears to be, said Danglar. Give him some more wine, Fernand. Fernand filled Caderousse's glass, who, like the confirmed toper he was, Lift Toper? I have no idea. Lifted his hand from the paper and seized the glass. Um, Toper might be the opposite of teetotaler. Oh, maybe. The Catalan watched him until Caderousse, almost overcome by this French, fresh assault on his senses, rested, or rather dropped, his glass upon the table. Um, well, resumed the Catalan as he saw the final glimmer of Caderousse's reason vanishing before the last glass of wine. Well, then, I should say, for instance, resumed Danglar, that if after a voyage such as Dantes has just made, in which he touched at the island of Elba, someone were to denounce him to the king's procurer as a Bonapartist agent... I will denounce him, exclaimed the young man hastily. Yes, but they will make you then sign your declaration and confront you with him you have denounced. I will supply you with the means of supporting your accusation, for I know the fact well. But Dantes cannot remain forever in prison. And one day or other, he will leave it. And the day when he comes out, woe betide him who was the cause of his incarceration. Um, oh, I should wish nothing better than he would come and seek a quarrel with me. Yes, and Mercedes, Mercedes, who will detest you if you have only the misfortune to scratch the skin of her dearly beloved Edmund. True said Fernand. Um, no, no, continued Danglar. If we resolve on such a step, it would be much better to take, as I now do, this pen, dip it into this ink, and write with the left hand, that the writing may not be recognized, oh my God. the denunciation we propose. This is like some spycraft this shit. This like your 12-year-old, <laughs> you're writing secret notes of everybody. Use lemon juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Danglar, uniting practice with theory, 
wrote with his left hand and in a writing reversed from his usual style and totally unlike it, the following lines which he handed to Fernand and which Fernand read in an undertone. The Honorable the King's Attorney is informed by a friend of the throne and religion that one Edmund Dantes, mate of the ship Ferron, arrived this morning from Smyrna after having touched at Naples and Porto Ferreo has been instructed by Murat with a oh entrusted by Murat with a letter for the usurper by the usurper with a letter for the Bonapartist committee in Paris. Proof of this crime will be found on arresting him, for the letter will be found upon him or at his father's or in his cabin on board the Pharaoh. Very good, resumed Danglar. Now your revenge looks like common sense, for in no way can it revert to yourself, and the matter will work, thus work its own way. There is nothing to do now but for the letter as I am doing, and write upon it to the king's attorney, and that's all settled. And Danglar wrote the address as he spoke. Why don't you take over? Oh my god. Yes, and that's all settled, exclaimed Caderousse, who by a last effort of intellect had followed the reading of the letter, and instinctively comprehended all the misery which such a denunciation must entail. Yes, and that's... <laughs> I hate this. Oh, I'm going to kill you. Yes, and that's all settled. Only it will be an infamous shame. And he stretched out his hand to reach the letter. Yes, said Danglar, taking it from beyond his reach. And as, I, as what I say and do is merely in jest, and I, among the first and foremost, should be sorry if anything happened to Dantes, the worthy Dantes. Look here. And taking the letter, he squeezed it up in his hands and threw it into a corner of the arbor. All right, said Caderousse. Dantes is my friend, and I won't have him ill-used. And who thinks of using him ill? Certainly neither I or Fernand, said Danglar, rising and looking at the young man, who still remained seated, but whose eye was fixed on the denunciatory sheet of paper flung into the corner. In this case, replied Caderousse, Let's have some more wine. I wish to drink to the he to the health of Edmund and the lovely Mercedes. <laughs> you have had too much already, drunkard, said Danglar, and if you continue, you will be compelled to sleep here, being unable to stand on your legs. I, said Caderousse, rising with all the offended dignity <laughs> of a drunken man. I, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> That's a good sentence. I can't keep on my legs. Why, I'll wager I can go up into the belfry of the Akul and without staggering too. Done, said Danglar. I'll take your bet, but tomorrow. Today it is time to return. Give me your arm and let us go. Very well, let us go, said Caderousse. But I don't want your arm at all. Come, Fernand, won't you return to Marseille with us? No said Fernand. I shall return to the Catalans. You're wrong. Come with us to Marseille. Come along. I will not. What do you mean you will not? Well, just as you like, my prince. There's liberty for all the world. Come along, Donglar, and let the young gentleman return to the Catalans if he chooses. Donglar took advantage of Caderousse's temper at the moment to take him off towards Marseille by the Port Saint-Victor, uh, San, San Victor. Oh, okay. Staggering as he went. When they had advanced about twenty yards, Danglar looked back and saw Fernand stoop, pick up the crumpled paper, and putting it into his pocket, then rush out of the arbor towards Poulon. Take, take us home, Will. All right. Well, said Caderousse, why, what a lie he told. He said he was going to the Catalans, and he is going to the city. Hello, Fernand. You are coming, my boy. Uh, oh, you don't see straight, said Danglar. He's gone right by the road to the Ville Infirmerie. Wow, said Caderousse. I should have sworn that he turned to the right. How treacherous wine is. Come, come, said Danglar to himself. Now the thing is at work, and it will affect its purpose. Unassisted. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Chapter 4 of the Count of Monte Cristo under our belt. Dun. Okay. What did you think? Wow. Okay. So uh, the plot is thickening. Uh, I think we like we have momentum here. Originally, like I think in chapter one and two, I wasn't 
I, I, I didn't feel like there was a whole lot of velocity in this book, but now like the wheels are turning. Yes. And the plot has thickened, and uh, Dantes is now in danger of being falsely accused of treason. Is that what I'm reading there? Yeah, like being I a Bonapartist? The letter is written by some guy who wants to take over the throne and giving it to another guy. I think it's like Napoleon or yeah, like a Bonapartist. Yeah. Or, I think that's what they. they yeah. They, uh, one, someone Bonaparte. in the Bonaparte family. Yeah. Uh, Bonapartist committee in Paris. Right. For the usurper and by the usurper. So, like, exchanging letters with people who want to usurp the throne. Take and, over the throne. Yeah. yeah. So, um, okay, that's great. And so they're going to manufacture evidence. They've already manufactured this letter in accusation. Mm -hmm. um, and the goal is to get Dantes into prison. And that way, it's like the ultimate revenge for Donglar. He doesn't right. become captain. I don't and also, he doesn't die, so Mercedes doesn't die. Mercedes doesn't die. Uh, Fernand gets another crack at at marrying mercedes i guess <laughs> so dumb he's a big dumb dumb yeah I, I don't know what but here's the thing his motivation as childish as it is is understandable i don't get why don glar is so like out to get dantes here his like because he's the one i think whose brains like uh, who's masterminding all this yeah. i have no idea why like because they stopped at that one island that one time that... i think he's jealous and maybe he either maybe wants to be captain or he wants the same kind of position but is i guess unable to attain it somehow but he wasn't ever part of the crew he's the the supercargo he's like the manifest guy like, i guess he's just like i guess he's just jealous maybe but like yeah. why did like iago nefello shit disturbed kind of like kind of like just cuz just cuz just cuz well you know the 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 what, what, what am I trying to say here? All the um, the winds are pointing towards Dantes going to prison. Uh, I have a feeling that's where the prison break thing is going to come from. Like if we uh, I remember I, last time I was talking about the Shawshank Redemption and how mm -hmm. I originally heard of the Count of Monte Cristo. Mm -hmm. And they said that it was kind of about a prison break. Mm -hmm. My prediction is that Dantes is going to break out of prison. And then this is going to be a revenge story of like trying to get back at the people who, who framed him. He's going to try and clear his name. Like get old and then grow a beard and then they'll be like who's this guy in town it's someone we don't know and it'll be like and then he'll shave it off and then it'll be like um, an ultimate reveal it's, it's the Dantes. odyssey all over again you know like mm -hmm. ha ha <laughs> it's me Dantes I'm yep. back baby I'm back. the um, question is how long will it take him to get out of jail yeah is he like digging it with a spoon or something yeah is that i'm curious to know how much the jailbreak is going to be part of this or if it's going to be more about the revenge that occurs after good question yeah we shall see thank you so much for watching uh chapter four and of listening. the count of monte cristo yeah watching and listening to the ca uh chapter four of the count of monte cristo i don't know when we're going to do chapter five and and onwards just keep uh follow me on twitter uh if you want uh, a sense of when that'll occur i'll usually um tweet something about it on the day that we're going to do another another couple of chapters so thanks again for watching uh take care of yourselves good night good night good night good night uh, excuse me good night <laughs> bye